after leading the team to an 8-0 Southwest Conference record. Another rushing title in the conference championship, Ditta and his teammates received an invitation to the conference's ultimate prize, the Cotton Bowl. His performance as a guard on the offensive line during the 1980 season earned him consensus All-Southwest Conference and All-America honors. Ditta is a member of Dave Campbell's 1980s All-Decade Team for Baylor and the 1946-95 All-Time Baylor Team. Ditta currently resides in Houston, where he and his wife Kelly are partners in their holding company, KDFD Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming to the Baylor Athletic Hall of Fame, Frank Ditta. I don't know who the guy was in the photo. <laughs> this is wild. Um, first of all, thank you to Walter Abercrombie and Tammy Harden for making this such a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend. You guys work really hard, and uh, I just want to say thank you, Walt, for you and Tammy. Um, who would have guessed that a uh, road trip on an off weekend at the University of Oklahoma, where I was a freshman, to watch uh, Baylor and A&M play in 1976 would result in me standing up here as an inductee into the Baylor Athletic Hall of Fame. It sure wouldn't have been me. I remember that my mother was very upset that I had driven with a teammate from Norman, Oklahoma to College Station, Texas that weekend and not come home. But I wanted to spend some time with some friends, some old friends, uh, like Alan Holt, who's in the uh, audience tonight, and some new friends, players on the team like Arlen Thompson, Sammy Bickham, Frank Pollard, guys I'd met in the Texas High School All-Star Game. Now, I remember when we came down I-35, and I first set eyes on the campus, I thought to myself, this is really a beautiful place. And something told me this was where I was supposed to be. After getting a release from OU, which wasn't easy, if, we, if any of you know Barry Switzer, <laughs> and uh, anyway, we'll just continue. Uh, Coach Staff was gracious enough to give me a scholarship, and I set out in 1977, and from 78 to 80, I believe we set the foundation uh, for a lot of years of success at Baylor. We beat Texas two out of three times, and we beat the Aggies three out of three times when I was playing. In 1980 in College Station, the Aggies were praying it rained in the second half because it came a flood in the first and we nearly put 60 points on them, which we would have if Coach Tev wouldn't have taken us off the field first team. And we didn't throw the ball like they do today. In 78, we were 3-8, and eight, and two years later, we were 10-1 and one in Southwest Conference champions. And I'm proud of what all of us on those teams accomplished during those years. You know, when I got the phone call from Walter that I had been inducted into the Hall of Fame, Baylor Athletic Hall of Fame, I sat at my desk in my office and a few tears ran down my face. They ran down my face because of people, not only was I proud to be a member of the Hall of Fame, I was sad because there were people who were no longer here to enjoy it with me, who had played important roles in me being up here tonight. When I played, I think most of my teammates would agree that I played with a lot of passion and intensity. And though it may not be cool, to be excited when one receives an award, that ain't me. I'm excited and I'm damn proud to be standing up in front of you tonight as Baylor Athletic Hall of Fame member. It's amazing how hard you can grip one of these things. But I didn't get here by myself. I got here because of the love and the support of a number of people, some of whom have taken the time to come tonight and share, share this night with me. So tonight is a night of thank yous for me. First of all, to my fellow inductees, congratulations to each of you. I know that each of you are as proud as I am to be up here tonight as inductees to the Baylor Athletic Hall of Fame. To the Hall of Fame Selection Committee, thank you for voting me in. And may I say three words to you, it's about time. <laughs> to my mom and dad, who are no longer here, thank you for always being there. No matter where I played, I could count on them being in the stands, and I know that it sometimes took a monumental effort 
to make the trip, but they never wavered in their support. I know that, that you would be proud of me tonight, and I'm sorry you're not here to share in this, but you're here in our hearts, and I miss you. To my sister Teresa, who couldn't be here, my brother Lee, and my little sister Liz, who are here, thank you for your support through the years and for being my biggest fans. I could always count on my sisters having a Diddy jersey on at my games and a lot of times bringing their own banners. It was great to see and feel their support, and I sincerely appreciate it. To my cousin Frank Joseph and his sons Lee Vernon and Joe, Joe made the trip and Frank Joseph is here, who once again have taken time to come support me, I say thank you, cuz. Seeing you guys here with my family brings back memories of when, we, when you guys all piled into the RV and came to every game we made, played, whether it was Waco, Dallas, Fort Worth, College Station, pretty much every, every place we played, and I say thank you again for coming here. To two other people at my table tonight, I say a heartfelt thank you for 30 plus years of friendship and for your support while I was at Baylor and the years since. When you look up the word Baylor, their picture, in my opinion, should be right beside it. In 1979, Coach Taft started a surrogate family program where we could go over to their home each weekend, mainly on Sundays, wash clothes, eat them out of house and home, and just hang out. I was fortunate enough to get as my host family, Ed and Carolyn Burleson, or Mr. and Mrs. B, as we like to call them. Mr. B won't let me come to Waco and stay at what we call the Burleson bed and breakfast unless I bring my wife Kelly, which is understandable. I hope that after tonight I can come and stay even if she can't make the trip. <laughs> to my coaches, all of whom have played a very important role in my success, Tommy Marshall, who's my offensive line coach at Cy Fair High School. He's a, he's a guy about six four and a half and a biscuit shy of 400 pounds. He taught me that an offensive lineman could and should control the tempo of a game. To Coach John O'Hara, my Baylor offensive line coach, he was the complete opposite of Coach Marshall. He used to tell us that we had to win so he could buy his young daughter real milk instead of powdered milk. <laughs> that was a lot of pressure on guys, young guys. We lost both of these men way too early in life. To Tommy Ward, he was my high school uh, head coach at Cypher High School. Thank you for taking a 15-year-old kid who was going to quit football and taking me out of class that day and spending the complete day with me. He showed me what I could accomplish if I just put the effort in that was needed. Without him taking the time that day, I wouldn't be standing up here tonight. And Coach Taft, thank you for giving me a scholarship to come to Baylor, for being a friend and a mentor all these years, and I hope that I proved a good return on the scholarship. To my friends who have made the trip to help, us, to help me celebrate this special night, thank you. I sincerely appreciate all of you who came in, down. To my in-laws, Kevin and Kyle Smith and Kathy Abbott, my mother-in-law, thank you for coming. You've got to keep the in-laws happy. <laughs> to my teammates who are here, thank you. I would not be up here tonight without any of you, and I share this award with each and every one of you. By the way, let me say it was a pleasure and a privilege to block for guys like Walter Abercrombie, Alfred Anderson, Dennis Gentry, other guys, Jay Jeffries. Uh, they made the job really easy, i got to tell you. And to my wife, Kelly, I hadn't forgot you. Every time I read this speech, I never mentioned her, and she kept saying, what about me? <laughs> and I didn't want to drive home alone, so I made sure that I was going to mention you. Thank you for your unshakable belief in me and your unsurpassed love these past almost 20 years. I'm taking this, ever, this opportunity to tell everyone here on this special night for me that I'm most proud that you are my teammate for life. I am blessed that God has chosen me to be your partner, and for that privilege, I am very grateful to him. As Coach Taft once said to me, and I completely agree, in Kelly, you outkicked your coverage. <laughs> in closing, I'm a very proud member of the Baylor Athletic Hall of Fame, and I thank you for giving me this incredible honor. Thank you, and God bless.